Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Fireman Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Munich Winkle map here. Playing with some forestry at the moment. Now we are playing with a more realistic mod, the damage mod, and the forestry mod. And I've got one tree trunk attached to the back here. Let's see, that. Uh, I'll right click to release that one. And the other one that came along was kind of like an extra bonus there. Wasn't actually intending that, but... Anyway, I figured we'd give this a try haul a couple trees here. I do plan on chopping grass this episode, so... See, I should probably be better if I grab this one back here first, maybe. Get off that one. Not sure if there's a particular distance you gotta be from these. Uh, looks like I must have to be closer because it's not activating. And it's the right and left mouse buttons. There we go. And I should be able to put two of them on here, so let's see if I can get a second one on here yet without uh, causing any problems. Let's see, that should be the right mouse click. Nope, that was the wrong one. Just looking at it, you know, I think facing it, the... Uh, the right one should be on this side, and the left one should be on this side, but, uh... Doesn't seem to be that way. Or that, it's, uh, really... Yeah, that was a left click there. Interesting. Anyway. Let's see if I can get that last one back on there. Oop. Left mouse button attach trunks. Apparently, you gotta be pretty close to these things to actually get them. Okay, hopefully that's actually good enough. Uh, that's still for the one. There we go. That's what I was looking for, finally. If I lift that up, that would probably be the proper way to do it. And once I got them over here, I should actually be able to use this crane to pick them up on and put them on the truck. Detach them. Not exactly sure how well this will work with a crane, seeing how it kind of tends to be kind of floppy. And these logs are still like one long piece yet. I think there's a short one, yeah, I think this is a short one here. Or shorter, nah, no, maybe, maybe it is a long one. Looks like I got all long ones here then. Anyway, let's go uh, chop some grass like I said I was going to do, and we'll come back next episode and play with that some more. Where's the chopper? Must be right here, I'm assuming. Okay, and I'm manually selecting the combine here. I think the other track, yeah, the other tractor is still over here yet. Again, manually select the combine. Nearest waypoint, hopefully, you should pick up the right one here and head back home. 
Yes, looks like he's good. Okay. I'm not exactly sure where he's going there. Might slowly, too, I might add. I'll wait for him. Let's uh, see if we can uh, load up a tree then. Actually, I probably don't have to actually start the engine to uh, to move the train. I just guess. And actually, no, let me try that. If I shut it off, I'm gonna have to switch back to that is little alt left M train. Action, uh, mouse, brain, camera, I don't think. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Oh, maybe I do have to have it on. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do. That would make sense, I mean, you, but just kind of curious if it actually uh, does require that. Okay, let's see if we can pick one of these things up. Uh, probably the one on top there should be first. There we go. I think the first thing we better do is drag it a little closer so I can grab it closer to the middle. That should probably work. Really? I was just going to say, I've never actually seen it actually never release with this yet. Oh, he's heading back to chopper there finally. How do I have it? Uh, not balanced the <laughs> best and it's definitely not hanging in there the best either. Uh, that's kind of weird. This thing's actually usually pretty good. I'm surprised it's actually looking funny like that. Not sure why it's doing that. Now, there isn't no great load helpline. No. Yeah, I guess there's no stabilizers on this is there. See, that looks actually like it's pretty good, though. Back just a tad. Not really the straight in there. Let's... There we go. That looks nice. Boom. That actually worked pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll uh, shut that off then. And it looks like they're oh, they're both pulled up by the chopper now. Go figure. And so far, this has been working really good. Aside from the fact that they can't actually dump into the uh, bunkers. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. They can dump into the bunkers, they just can't get up onto the bunker to actually dump into it. I uh, added the double wheels to the front of this vent here, added the weight on the front. Uh, I got the same thing with the case back there. Tried to see if he could make it up there. Nothing doing, so... Once they do go to unload, I actually have to unload it for them. Now it appears uh, Horseplate made a change there because it actually unloads evenly, and I mean very evenly, throughout the entire bunker. I'm guessing that's actually to help a tractor get up there, but unfortunately with more realistic it still doesn't work. Now he should drive away and the other tractor should drive up I would assume here. Now interestingly when they do this I think a lot of times they switch sides. Okay, not in this case though. 
I know in the past they'd always switch sides, so you know the tractor was on this side before. The next one that come up would go on this side. And we'll stop here a minute. Or we have an accident there. Seems like they uh, really worked on this with course play, because I always remember this being a lot of trouble here. But it's actually been really smooth. Might help too, I actually got a smaller header than the standard corn one maybe, I don't know, but... It seems like uh, course play follows the chopper much better now. Uh, just to be clear, I am using the uh, developer version of course play. Uh, just recently updated it again to version 5.2.9. Not actually using uh, course play on the chopper here. I'm driving this myself. That probably helps too, since I'm driving, I can actually keep it going a little better, maybe. You know, if he gets too far away, I can just cheap, keep chopping. Might destroy a little bit of the grass, but, you know, not the end of the world. some point here we're going to get a message saying the fence is slipping and that probably means he's trying to mount the bunker or the silage that is in the bunker curious to know if auto combine can actually follow this I doubt it. I never know. He might. Oh, he actually can. That's pretty cool. The only trouble is, why is, uh, why is our tractor turned away? I'm not entirely sure what this course play mode does. I really should look that up. Well, I think it would have worked if our guy would have turned away there. Not sure what he's doing exactly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not even driving now. I just happened to think of that. I wonder if uh, Auto Combine would work with us, and it does. That's pretty cool. Something tells me we're going to have some troubles with a turn, though. He's going to try to reposition. Looks like the tractor's going to come back around again. And yes, the Fent is probably ready to unload. Yes, he is. He gets stuck trying to get up there. Not entirely sure what to do about that. Oh crap, now I can't get him back off either. Probably not going to help. Oh, there we go. Now, let's see if we can actually get up on this. Oh, come on, so close. Oh, wait, four-wheel drive, that might help. There we go. Okay, and drive the course, and he should be good to go again. Interesting, I wonder what this is.
buy ramps for easier loading. I'm assuming that would be for this. That's a pretty nice looking biogas plant. Oh, you can't quite handle that turn, can you? Okay, well that's fine. I'll uh, probably just take back over here again. Interesting, that must be a new feature with course play. Uh, we can't make it. It turns around and comes back around for another try. Maybe that, maybe it's got some sort of interaction with the auto combine there that's telling us to do that, maybe. Oh, he's coming around that side. Weird. Okay. Yeah, now he's kind of on the wrong side. Uh, driver side automatic. Left. Oh, I can actually control it now. So left, yes, that should be the right side. Oh, and I can order, ah, uh, okay, I can order a turn maneuver here. Ah, uh, new, all, all new options with the new version of course play, I take it. Don't recall seeing these before. Uh, developer version, I should say. And the other tractor isn't back yet. Interesting. Oh, wait. No, he is too. I was going to say, he should be back by now. It normally works out pretty close. Yeah, we're actually getting quite a bit of chopped uh, grass out of this. Each tipper there is like 51,000 some odd.
Uh, that case tractor has to be pretty close to me by the biogas plant by now. Pretty much just wait till I see the slipping message and then uh, head over there. Uh, the case tractor is a lot slower than the Fent here. The Fent can actually go quite uh, fast. I think the uh, case tractor is maybe half the speed of the Fent here. Somewhere in that neighborhood anyway. Maybe not quite half, but pretty close to it. He's actually full. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, why you stop there? That's kind of funny. Oh, wait, it actually gave a weight there. That's interesting. 14. Oh, well, it disappeared now. So I think it said 14,000 there. Yeah, now about this point, yep, yeah, right here, he's going to get stuck. I wonder. Oh, that's not good. We're stuck in the garage. Oh, there we go. Let's try a little something here. I'm going to have to be slightly careful about what I want to do here, because the damage mod is enabled, so... See if we can push on him just a little bit. There we go. Now is he not unloading? Uh, why is that? Oh, there he goes. Okay. And yeah, you'll notice he kind of unloads a little bit in each one. It might be because these first ones are actually fuller than the rest. I'm not sure. That might be why he's going to the end here. It's probably evening it out as perfectly as it can get it. If you notice, each stack here is almost basically sh perfectly straight across here, except for that first one where I emptied a bunch. And by the time he gets to the end here, he should be completely empty as well. Yep. I think I got that truck parked out of the way there. Yeah, the reason I grabbed this truck, it's got uh, four-wheel drive on it. Unfortunately, I did have him hooked up with the tipper as well. And unfortunately, he can't make it up there either, so that's why I went to the tractors. Figured they'd have a little bit better chance. I have to watch it here. The fence is coming through. Could be a problem. 
No, he stops. Not enough. Okay, I'm sure he's going to need the same help. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. This actually probably works better than me trying to get up there. Pretty much my solution is I go uh, back outside there and uh, give it a running start. Now, obviously you got the damage mod enabled here, so you got to be real careful doing this. If I hit him too hard, I'm going to damage something. I'm actually surprised I haven't damaged the truck doing this. Now, interestingly enough, I noticed when Corseplay did it, it's actually emptying out the back. I think when I empty it in here... Oh, wait, it hasn't emptied nothing. I don't think. Oh, it's going to all empty it at the end here, probably. Hopefully. It actually empties out the back. I think uh, when I do it, it goes out the side. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen it empty all in the back here before. Oh, uh, what are we looking at? Compact, 61%. That's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. Especially for the more realistic here, it seems like it takes a lot more to compact this down. Definitely be nice if I could find a tractor that could actually make it up there. Uh, boy. I wonder if our, Xer our Xeron could. Xeron, whatever, however you pronounce that. Uh, where is he at exactly? Probably let's give this John Deere here a try. He's got double wheels. That's a possibility. Uh, yeah, does he? He's got the extra weight, too, I believe. I don't know if that would make any difference or not, but... Ah, yes, this is the tractor I was talking about. He might be able to make it up there, maybe. It'd be pretty bad if he couldn't, anyway. Let's put it that way. Okay, folks, so with that, I think we uh, better call an episode there. It's a mowing, did just a little bit of forestry there at the beginning. We'll come back next episode and probably finish loading that, or at least get as much done as we can. So yeah, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.